kind of swap that guy out. Just do a little evasive maneuvering. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Serpentine. Hold on. And, you know, it's, it's all coming back to me here. There we go. Hey folks, welcome to PlayStation Underground. We are here checking out Dark Souls Remastered with my good pal Zach Miner. You're a big yeah. Dark Souls expert. Dark Souls Remastered, Sid. I know, so good. We're playing on PS4 Pro, and I'm also joined by Dalton Link from Bandai Namco. How's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome. Thank Glad you for to be giving here. us an early look at this game, and uh, what's looking mighty fine so far. Wow, yeah, this looks really good. This this horrific prison has never looked better. <laughs> so on PS4 Pro, uh, tell me a little bit about the tech specs we can expect. Uh, PS, we're playing PS4 Pro right now, um, 60 frames at 4K. Great. So super excited to kind of bring the definitive experience of Dark Souls to uh, all the PlayStation fans. Well, I'm one of those fans, and I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be playing the crap out of this when this hits. This is in uh, May, right? Yeah, May 25th, uh, 2018. Um, it, it hits PlayStation and PlayStation Pro. Excellent. Now, one of the surprising features in this one is that you have to play as this person here. This um Yeah, yeah. It's actually locked in at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zach had some fun with the sliders of the character creator uh, coming in, so he made his... Uh who he wants to be? Is that who, who you who you think you are in the Dark Souls universe? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I just try to represent myself uh, in games whenever I can. Um, so this is our our deprived creature here. And uh, what character name did you go with? Uh, a powerhouse to uh, a little nod to our good pal Ryan Clements, who oh, nice. uh, cannot join us. <laughs> awesome. So you know, if you're uh, a fan, an old old school fan of Dark Souls, you know. Uh, where we are, we're in the uh, Undead Asylum, uh, starting out in the cell. So we're just going to take you through a uh, section of the game here, and show you a little bit of what Dark Souls Remaster has to offer. I am digging this frame rate right out the gate. Oh my oh gosh. Yeah. These rolls feel so good, Sid. <laughs> yeah. I bet. So tell us a little bit about what kind of class you chose <laughs> and why you went with this, uh, this particular style. Well, um, you know, I, I figure it would be a fun little challenge. Um, and uh, Sid and I decided before uh, we started recording here, uh, since both of us were kind of dying to play, that um, I, I would kind of start off and we'd go as far as I can until I die, and then uh, Sid, Sid will take the reins here. That's right. I'll that's probably do worse than you. but That's always a good way to play, you know. Uh, there you go. I mean, if you've played Dark Souls, you know you will die. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult not to die. So if you're playing kind of with another person, you can always pass the controller on, on deaths. That's a nice angle. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> ra rated M for mature. In yeah. listening 4K. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is looking good, though. Yeah. It's a nice update. Yeah, and, you know, having that, that smooth 60 frames, as you mentioned before, uh, really gives you that fluidity of motion. Um, and uh, everyone knows that motion is a pretty important thing in Dark Souls. It uh, surely is. <laughs> yes. Keep that stamina high and keep rolling. What I love about this is uh, when this game came out, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't ready for it. Um, I was a real newbie. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have taken the advice. Yeah, you, you wanted to get that cinematic oh boy. moment. Oh, oh boy. come on, oh. come on. Ooh. No, this is too, not like this. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> Uh, I was not ready. Oh, that's it. Oh, my it. gosh. Yep, Asylum First Demon. Death. There it is. We need a counter. Well, Pass it that, over. That was shameful. <laughs> yeah. That was shameful. It's all part of the game, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> get too stressed <laughs> out. I wasn't ready for this game, though. When, are you an inverter? Uh, I'm not an inverter. Oh, great. Um, you have to play. Wait, didn't I? Uh, oh, I guess I forgot to light the bonfire. Um, there we go. That's how you play a video game. Hmm, interesting tactic. Mm. Do, you, do you also play with the menu open? Is that <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, He's got to make sure he has easy access. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> At all times. That's what real Dark Souls players do. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, yeah, I was. we were kind of talking a little bit uh, before about kind of our, our process of getting into these games. Um, and I think like a lot of the people who have eventually become kind of the diehard uh, Souls fans, um, my first trip uh, down uh, down into Lordan was not uh, a successful one, um, but you know you're like, not alone, <laughs> right? Yeah, but like part of part of the joy of this game is like that experience of discovery, definitely, right? and and being like, 
wait, so is this supposed to be this hard? Am yeah. I just really bad at this game? Yeah, you yep. never really know what's around the next corner, and that's kind of that exploration and that exhilaration is a big part of the experience, right? Absolutely. Um, and it's a game that's always throwing curveballs at you, and you, you don't really know what the new enemy type's going to be like, or a boss, when a boss battle's kind of coming up. So yep. that's, you know, that exhilaration, or, or when you see the bonfire, and you're like, there it is, I got to get there! Yep. <laughs> and then something knocks you right before you uh, get it, and you lose your souls. Of course. <laughs> or you're having your, your confident run through the tutorial area, and then you suddenly <laughs> die. Uh, I mean, to your credit, you did pick Deprived. Uh, that is true. Yeah, so Sid, um, <laughs> you were uh, suggesting that we pick a different class, correct? I was. I was all about the pyro, because that's what real Dark Souls is. And I was all do. about the warrior. Yeah. I, I mean, I, so I will say, I, you know, I was chiding Sid a little bit, uh, joking that, you know, <laughs> the pyro to some perhaps is considered easy mode in Dark Souls. Yeah. There's no easy mode in Ooh. Dark Souls. Shots fired. But, right. um, <laughs> Fireballs I, I, fired. <laughs> I will admit now to you on the air, Sid, that... Um, Pyro was the class that actually got me into the game. Exactly. It has high elemental resistance, high poison resistance, as I recall. It's just a good starting point. So if you've, uh, if you've always wanted to play Dark Souls but it's intimidating, choose Pyro. Uh, the hand axe is an excellent weapon to start the game with. Yep. you got some fireballs there. You can lob those at the skeletons. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and uh, I would also say the uh, – oh, you want to get, get, you that, get club that club out, out Sid. Um, this guy – oh, I, yeah, you need to uh, – It's an aggressive play with the, with the broken sword. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You picked up the club, so I think you can uh, swap that guy out. Just do a little evasive maneuvering. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Serpentine. Hold on. And, you know, it's, it's all coming back to me here. There we go. Um, <clears throat> oh, there we go. I got there it. Go. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Everything's um, going to be great from here on out. But, yeah, and th this is perhaps ev even more um, – more shameful than just using the, the pyro, Sheesh. but um, it was the pyro combined with, um, if I dare say, um, a special sword that you can get early on. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, I think fans of the series will know that uh, that maneuver. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and now you can see that that uh, swinging tail and uh, all its glory. Yeah, just yeah. shoot oh, 50 finally. arrows at it. <laughs> <Finally. laughs> Yeah, go up here, Sid. Nothing, yeah, yeah, there's nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh! oh. <laughs> I like this area because they really, it's like, a, it's like a microcosm of the entire game. They really yep. show you, like, you know, this is what you can expect. Uh, you're not going to know what, what's going to happen. Things Look, might, balls might roll down the the, uh, the stairs. Look, you might I'm doing go into a room that's in the first few minutes of the game. There's a giant boss battle. <laughs> exactly. I'm doing better than Zach. That's the main thing. Yeah, but you don't know where to go, Sid. Yeah, I don't. I'm yeah. not, so oh, go back upstairs. Yeah, go back yeah. Upstairs. You, you have a, uh, an opportunity upstairs. I should rest. Yeah, get, make sure you, you lock in those 80 souls. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah oh. I mean, um, to your point, Zach, you know, there are a lot of... Everyone kind of has a different experience how they got into the game. Um, you know, this game, the original Dark Souls came out on PlayStation in 2011. So um, it's great to see, uh, you know, it kind of fully, fully remastered and just kind of... We want to bring it to a new generation of players, but also bring the best possible experience uh, experience to the, the classic fans. Totally. Um, you know, it's something that the fans have been asking for for a long, long time. So we're definitely excited to uh, to bring it to them. Yeah, you got to get your, uh, your Estus. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'll die soon. I wish to ask I don't want to spoil any of the story. Fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. So if fans don't know, um, he's getting the Estus Flask, um, which I really need. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which is um, how you how you heal in the in the Dark Souls games. Um, you have a limited amount of uses, but if you uh, rest at the bonfire, you you uh, can replenish it. Yep, absolutely. Um, and you know, one of the things that um, that I. I think is, is so great about Dark Souls, it, again, kind of is that element of discovery, right? Like, you know, we're telling you right now, obviously, that kind of the Estus Flask is kind of the, one of the key mechanics in the game to survive. Um, but there's nothing really in the game that, ex you know, explicitly tells you that, right? Like, it's it's kind of about that process of discovery yeah. being like, so how you do You know, I you have the, a few... Um, um, Ways to kind of get some 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 facts here. They'll tell you kind of the basic controls, um, and obviously when you play online, uh, people have the right. opportunity to to leave messages as well. You know, sometimes they're helpful, sometimes they're not. I love yes. that. You yeah. can mislead people. Is this the right way? Yeah. Yep. Let me. Are you ready for this? I hope so. Which button do I hit? Is it uh, R1? R1. Yeah. I just fall off an R1. The falling yeah. attack. Yeah. 
Ah. Oh no! Oh, you missed oh. it. Oh, it's yeah. all part of the fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got. You wanted a pure experience. That's right. Um, uh, you can. If you click R three, oh. you can lock in. Oh, you can uh, find. There's uh, Zach's dead body. Yeah, I think I'll he had zero that. souls. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I know. Eighty. Thank you. Oh, 60. <laughs> all right, Sid. Here we go. Oh. Off to a, off to a good start. Yeah. So I remember the first time I played this. Oh. Um, the just. The sheer kind of uh, how big this battle was the first time yeah. you go in, I was just like, wow, Yield. this game is on yeah. another level. <laughs> Definitely. I'm totally. like, I'm used to, you know, fun tutorial. tutorial They kind of take you through the, oh. the ropes of the game. Nope. Uh, you're in a boss battle. <laughs> That's right. Right out of the gate. <laughs> oh. Oh. So speaking of boss battles, what are some of the, Bam. the boss battles in, in Dark Souls history that you guys remember? Oh, or, man. Um, you know, I, I think the... The, this one is perhaps not, you know, the the craziest or really in retrospect the most difficult. But I th I think the moment of true kind of um, like Dark Souls immersion is the gargoyles. Yeah, like, yeah. That that to me is like the major the gargoyles. point in the game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Because um, you feel pretty like the Taurus demon is definitely a little bit tougher than the asylum the asylum demon. Uh, mm. Hopefully we'll get up to them. Yeah. Um, but those gargoyles, the, the first time you fight the gargoyles, you think there's absolutely no way that I can defeat. Yep. Them. At least that's how I thought. Absolutely. And they, and they kind of throw you for a loop, right? Because you start fighting one, and then they bring in the second yeah, one. Right? And you're like, oh, this is, I think I got this. And then all of a sudden, you're just getting hit from multiple angles. You're like, how do you beat this? Totally. <laughs> And that's fun too, you know. It, I uh, one thing I always liked about the game is you kind of have to reassess your strategy constantly. Yeah. Um, you're like, okay, well that time I went over there, um, or that time I try to put damage on one of them as much as I could, or you know, should I divvy up the damage? And yep. that's something you're kind of always uh, thinking about while you're playing. Uh, and I think that's uh, why so many fans have kind of gravitated towards this title, and kind of why it has the legacy that it does. Is there's so many ways to approach it. Um, there's so much strategy involved. You can, you know, uh, Sid went with the Pyromancer. I always preferred going for kind of the Warrior. I always liked the high, the high stamina, uh, high vitality, um, good movement, yeah. low armor. Yep. Um, some yeah. people like the, the the heavy armors. I could I could never deal with the fat roll. Yeah. I, no, I, I, I had to be on the quick roll. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. This is where uh, Mr. Squeaks is, or whatever. What's the bird's name? Mr. Squeaks? <laughs> Mr. Yeah, that giant bird, you know what I'm talking about. He's got some crazy name. <laughs> I thought it was Mr. Squeaks, but I guess I'm wrong. There we go. This this moment too, I remember the first yeah. time I played it was like, whoa, this is this is next level. <laughs> yeah, and then you drop the rubbish in his nest and you get the sweet item. Yeah, remember all yeah. that? Yeah. This is such a walk down memory lane. Oh man. And like that the Bell Gargoyle fight. I probably completed that fight like three or four times on different playthroughs before I even realized that you can like chop off the act or the tail yeah, and yeah, they yeah. get the weapon from that, yeah. right? Like Gosh, it really rewards time investment, and um, yeah, it's so fun to just kind of discover these hidden It is. Moments. What's your weapon of choice uh, in this one? Um, gosh, what was my weapon of choice? I I think I really enjoyed um, like this the the like the core mace. I think you get early on, and then you just invest really heavily. In yeah. That, right. Like I think one of the um, really good strategies in this game is that like you know you get a new weapon and you actually it's perhaps not great to just like swap to that immediately when you get a new weapon, right? It's like if you choose a weapon and you find a weapon that you like your moveset, then really investing in that can be more rewarding. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, a lot of it, um, Dark Souls is about feel. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people are um, in RPG games, they're like, oh, I want to get the most powerful weapon. Yeah. Or I want like, I want this weapon because I think it has the best stats. But sometimes in Dark Souls, you're like, oh, I actually like the way that this feels. I like the flow of this weapon. So I'm going to invest my resources into making that one better because I feel like I can be the most effective. Like for me, I always like the long swords because I liked how you can, I always put the shield on the back for the most part at movement. But oh, okay. if you really need the sword and board kind of moment yeah. when there's a lot of ranged attackers or you just feel like you're getting bombarded, you have that kind of safety blanket. You're like, oh, I have the shield. <laughs> Absolutely. This is uh, also a famous room. Uh, yeah. Things change yes. here a little yeah. later in the yeah. game. Indeed. Oh, so good. Oh, you can actually, if you go down here, uh, Sid, it's really easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> I think it's a smart move. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, uh, actually, where should I go? What do, what do you guys think? Um... <laughs> You should go to the uh, undead, uh, undead burg. Yeah, I would say let, let's go up and let's see if we can get to the tourist Yeah. 
Is that uh, you so have to direct me? You have to go out and then um, to the left. Ah, uh, yes. You can also go down here and you get a few items if you want. Let's if you come get some around items. here, you can talk to this uh, this NPC right here too. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is all coming back to me, but you'll have to just be patient with me. Yeah, sure. Fire now, bombs. Uh, those will be useful. Now, Sid, you were a spear and shield man. I right? was a silver spear, and then I ended up upgrading it to like the moonlight butterfly. I think it was called. Oh yeah. Okay. The magic spear. Here we go. What does that say? Ah, huh. uh, yes. That's, you got to give him a nice gesture important, now. Important gesture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, there's some very iconic gestures in this game. That's uh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> How do you... Uh, I would just scroll left. Ah, right. ah, enough of that. I think there's something back in here. Yeah, you can actually go down these uh, the elevator. Um, if you go up yeah. the stairs, and there's a few items you can pick up there. And then you can kind of double back from the graveyard. Gosh, I love the... Uh, R rolling through uh, bases has, has never felt better. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's a staple. It's a staple of the Dark Souls uh, series. Yep. Oh, a bunch of boxes and braces. I better just roll through all those. Yep. <laughs> you never know. There could be an item back there. Yep, or something terrible. Mm. <laughs> or they're full of poison. Right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's always great. Or it's a mimic. Those are great, too. Yeah, we're mimics in yeah. the first game? There's yeah. just okay. a handful of them. Okay. Oh, there it is. Ah, the morning star. Should yes. I swap to it, you think? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, crack red orbs, yeah. I don't remember what half this stuff does, if I'm honest with you. Uh, that's There's okay. a lot of items. And we don't need to borrow. Yeah, borrow with it. Um, I so definitely... Uh, There's a, um, a little a, crack a little in the crack, wall. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the left. We'll find it. It's all uh, part of the fun. No. <laughs> no. There, it is. there, it is. there we go. It's got to get to the right angle. Uh, de definitely remember the first time I played this. Oh. Also, <laughs> now be careful. Yeah. So, um, so Lloyd's whoa. Talismans, nice. they allow you to um, uh, stop nah. Estic's recovery in a small area. Let's just get out of here. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that uh, the graveyard area. Um, Great for grinding. Yeah, it's a higher it's a higher level area. Um, oh, he followed you out. <laughs> like I said, you might be blocking yourself into a corner here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's another item up here. You didn't know about this item up I here? Didn't, I don't think I knew about this item up huh. here. Interesting. That's for us Dark Souls pros. Ah, yes. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Us uh -oh. professionals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, was, that couldn't have uh, been more perfectly timed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you want to go from the left yep. up here up the stairs? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Just make right. sure he's not sneaking up on me. Um... Yeah, that's a. It's an interesting area. The Firelink uh, area is, you know, kind of the hub area. Um, but there are multiple ways to go from there. Um, and the devs obviously, they wanted to show you that there, there's areas that you could try, but it's. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that guy was coming. It's uh, maybe try to find another route. You know, you. Oh yeah. Dark Souls is not a game that you can really charge three. There are ways to do it, but um, it's. Trying to trying to get into areas that are outside of your kind of experience level and your character level can get really difficult very quickly, as uh, is shown by the graveyard area. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I took one swing at that scout. I was like, nope. <laughs> yeah. I took like a pixel of damage off of him. Yeah. Not gonna work. Yeah, and, and there's definitely an adjustment period where you kind of you learn that through exploration yep. as opposed to like waypointing. Right? Yeah. Um, it's memorization is a lot of it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like when you start to realize the patterns of different characters fight in. Totally. And ah. I think I think for a lot of uh, fans that played this originally, um, are gonna have a great time kind of re-experiencing it, kind of yep. like Sid's doing now. Yeah. Um, there's just there's probably a lot that people have forgotten, um, or you know ha maybe have small memories of. Oh, I remember doing that, but I can't remember exactly where that was. So I, I think that'll be great. For people to kind of uh, rekindle, to use that uh, yeah. term. Uh, <laughs> well done, Dalton. <laughs> well done. Uh, their love for the for the title. This is so Watch fun. out for those those rats. Yeah. Because uh, if you get poisoned, right? it's no fun. Nope. Gonna have a bad time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is this is kind of me playing against type here. I normally am heavy on the spears and the uh, the long distance stuff, or the fire long sword in Dark Souls Two was was my go to. I mean, I don't want to. Uh, you know, pick favorites, but I think you're doing a little better than Zach. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I would say that, you know, I, I was trying to present the game in a very specific way. <laughs> oh, uh, nice. In a bad way. Nice. <laughs> um, 
Oh, nice. That was a good uh, good block. Oh, yeah. There we go. There Boom. We go. Yeah, let's get some parries up in yeah, here. Yeah, if you're feeling, oh, uh, feeling really brash, you can try some, uh, some parries. That, that, I always thought that was a high-risk maneuver, and I preferred the sort of uh, fundamentals, you know? It is, it is for higher-level players. Mm. You're right, Sid. Mm -hmm. um, Did you guys don't, ever don't uh, experiment <laughs> at all or play at all in the PvP? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually. So, um, yeah, so fun, uh, fun bit of I'm information. I'm scared, actually. Well, uh, Dark Souls Remastered will have six player. Um, oh, really? Player. Oh, yeah. that's up from four? Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a big upgrade. Yeah. And it's critical to getting past some of these boss encounters. I wish I could call in some help up ahead here, actually. Well, a glimmer of an item. Yeah, I that was another breakthrough moment for me. I was playing this game, and I was trying to solo everything, and I was kind of unclear about how multiplayer worked. And um, I ended up, I realized, you know, you, oh, oh, oh. oh. So cool, right? Looks great. Wow. Nothing to worry about. Oh! oh. But uh, when you realize, oh, you can actually summon in other players to help you with bosses, especially if you're having a, a tough time, it's no big deal. Yep. Yeah, that's another another good way to kind of like ease that ramp a little bit. Yep. It's a big help. That like those gargoyles, I could never have gotten past those gargoyles. Yep. Round shield's probably better than this, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Yes. I think anything's better than this. It's There's also a vendor down here that you can oh, uh, right. buy a bow and arrow and a few other items from. Definitely attack them on my first playthrough. <laughs> and, uh, I like that was a bold play, just right in the menu uh, while being fired at. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, here's the your here's your spear spear friends. Yep. See, this is real annoying. Ah. Uh. There we go. Uh. Yeah, if you kill NPCs in this, they're dead forever. <laughs> Right? Uh, yes, yes. NPCs, yes. Um, Not yeah, the you don't. Fr friendly NPCs. Yeah, yes. you don't, you don't want to accidentally oh. go. Oh, oh headshot. Oh, down I go. <laughs> All right, Zach. All right, right. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally um, kill the uh, the vendors. Yeah, that's 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 not fun. Or if you really want to be devious, you can just do it potentially. Yeah. But there's not much to be gained from that unless you have uh Yeah. No. You were so close to a bonfire, Sid. I know. I'm sorry. But it's all part of the fun, right? Exactly. Yeah. This is Dark Souls. I don't know. We're running a little long here. I don't know if we're going to make it to the to the Taurus team. And let's see if I can... Uh... Yeah, just just blast through all this. This is, this is another... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Zach. I, I just go... Just yeah, keep yeah. with it. Keep with it. I... I yeah, I, I would say maybe, guys, let, let's call that a wrap on the episode, okay. uh, unfortunately. <laughs> you, you um, need, you, what's it called in pinball, like right when your ball goes away and they give you like the save? Uh, that's, what you, that's what you're going to get right pinny ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, ball. exactly. <laughs> um, awesome. Well, thanks for bringing this by, Dalton. Yeah, we, we could play this all day. I mean, I we could cancel the rest of my meetings as far as I'm <laughs> yeah, concerned. Yeah, yeah, let's see. I mean, it would be... Uh, where are we here? Uh, hurrah! Yeah! <laughs> What else? Everyone's, uh, unfortunately, we don't have the the best gesture yet. Yeah, no, we can't um, praise the sun quite yet. Our, we have to find our boy Solaire. Yep. Um, yeah, but, you know, of course, I'm, I'm glad you guys could get a chance to play it. Uh, if, uh, rekindle your love for the title. Um, all the fans can expect this game on PlayStation and PlayStation Pro on May 25th, 2018. So not long. I know there's a lot of, yeah, not long. I know there's a lot of really excited fans out there, so we can't wait to bring you kind of definitive Dark Souls experience uh, to the, you know, PS4. Looking great. Thanks, Dalton. Sure, Thanks, no Dalton. problem.